Welcome to Affairs Cloud. My name is Vikas Rana. We are one stop solution for current affairs. You can find our Crack Current Affairs course on our application exclusively for current affairs, where you will be getting daily, weekly, and monthly current affairs on a regular basis. You can use code Vikas10 to get additional 10% discount while purchasing the course. This video is available both in English and Hindi. The timestamp for both English and Hindi are mentioned in the description of each video. You can contact us on the number provided or mail provided. Also, follow us on Telegram and Instagram, and the link for the same is provided in the description of each video. Also, students, we have started a new initiative that is of handwritten notes. It is helpful to understand the news daily, time saving, and very useful for your revision. We aims to cover 15 questions via handwritten notes in upcoming bank exams. These handwritten notes are available on daily current affairs content PDF at our mobile application and website carriercloud.in. Only our crack current affairs subscribers will be able to access these handwritten notes. A sample PDF of the handwritten notes will be available in the description. Hello everyone. So in this video, we will be talking about important current affairs for topic national affairs for June month. This will be quite an interesting session and an important one. So stay tuned till the end. First question is name the initiative that has been recently launched by the Central Council for Research in Ayurvedic Sciences to boost research and innovation in Ayurveda. So what is that initiative called? It is Pragati 2024, right? It stands for Pharma Research in Ayurgyan and Techno Innovation. That is Pragati. This is an initiative to shape the future of Ayurveda. And this was launched on 28th of May at India Habitat Center that is in New Delhi. Next, in May 2024, which of the following organizations jointly developed a unified India organic logo to replace the India organic and Jaivik Bharat logos. So which is it? It is all second, first and second that piece. Food Safety and Standards Authority of India FASAI and Agriculture and Processed Food Exports Development Authority. Correct? So both of them are right. Next. In June 24, the Department of Telecommunication has introduced DASH for making service and transactional voice calls. So the Department of Telecommunication has introduced what? They have introduced 160 series for making service and transactional calls. Next. Software Technology Parks of India and Autonomous Society that comes under the DASH celebrated their 33rd Foundation Day on 6th of June under the theme that is Positioning Bharat as a Tech Product Nation. So, Software Technology Park of India and Autonomous Body that comes under the Ministry of Electronics, Information and Technology celebrated their 33rd Foundation on 6th of June 2024. And here you can see the theme of this day. Next. Narendra Modi was sworn in as the Prime Minister of India for the third consecutive time after the BJP-led NDA got the majority in the which edition of Lok Sabha elections. So they were the 18th edition of Lok Sabha election and this is the third consecutive time Prime Minister Narendra Modi was appointed as the PM of India. Next, who has recently became the Indian Navy's first women helicopter pilot? Name that pilot. Anamika Rajiv. Right, she became the Indian Navy's first women helicopter pilot, Anamika Rajiv. Next, which organization has recently launched the AIM ICDK Water Challenge 4.0 and the fifth edition of the Innovation for You aims to foster innovation and sustainability in India? This is Niti Aayog. Right, Niti Aayog. This is the organization that launched this AIM ICDK Water Challenge 4.0 and the fifth edition of the innovations for you that aims to foster innovation and sustainability in India. Next, which state has became the first in India to announce 1 crore rupees in insurance compensation for employees who passed away in road accidents? That will be Karnataka. Right, Karnataka state became the first state in India to announce 1 crore rupees compensation in insurance for the employees who passed away in road accidents. Next, in June, the Government of India extended the Digital Health Incentive Scheme by a year up to what? It has been extended up to 30th of June 2025. 
earlier it was ex uh, finishing on 30th of june 2024 but now it has been increased also remember as a part of the scheme the hospitals will receive 20 rupees per patient for digitizing the health records and linking them with abha id next which state secretariat has recently became the india's first eco-friendly state government headquarter it is of assam state right assam secretariat became the india's first green state government headquarter with the inauguration of 2.5 megawatt solar project on the campus of janta bhavan in dispur guwahati assam this secretariat complex will now sir run solely on the solar power installed with using 12.5 crore rupees of fund next which of the following terms were defined by the newly introduced offshore areas rules 2024 by the government of india so which of the following terms were defined all four of them right all the above were defined next which of the following points are not correct with respect to the cabinet approvals if we look at the options here option b is wrong here rest option a and c are right b is saying that the vgf that is viability gap funding scheme for offshore wind energy projects with a total outlay of 8453 crore rupees is it correct so it is not 8454 crore rupees it actually it is 7453 crore rupees this is the right option then construction of major port at vadwan a near dhanong in maharashtra with a total project cost this is also right and option a is also right then again next question is which ministry has notified the post office act of 2023 that became effective from 18th of june it is ministry of communication that has notified the post office act of 2023 that became effective from 18th of june 2024 next in june 24 union ministry of skill development and entrepreneurship partnered with which country to boost india's agriculture sector with emerging skills it is australia next which states tourism board has recently launched prime minister shri paryatan vayu seva that is an interstate air service that connects the states religious and tourist spots by air so which is that state it is madhya pradesh state they have launched this scheme that is pm shri paryatan vayu seva or we can say a air taxi scheme right i repeat pradhan mantri shri paryatan vayu seva scheme launched by madhya pradesh next which airport has recently received the license extension from the director general of civil aviation for a period of 5 years so which is that airport it is maharshi valmiki international airport of ayodhya up and they have granted they have been granted a license for a period of 5 years and this is an international airport also remember the javer airport that will also be in up and it will also be an international airport next name the state that has recently launched the first of its kind centralized admission portal for admission to the undergraduate courses in the state government colleges and recognized universities it is west bengal next the government of india has notified that some sections of the telecommunication act of 23 are set to be effective from from 26th of june 2024 next Next is which of the following points are correct with respect to the three new criminal laws that came into effect on 1st of July 2024 if we look at the options all these three are rightly mentioned which are the three laws bhartiya nyay sanhita bhartiya nagrik suraksha sanhita and bhartiya saksha abhidhan act all these three acts will be coming into effect from 1st of July 2024 these are the three new criminal laws next The Bureau of Indian Standard introduced two new standards that is IS 18590 and IS 18606 to enhance the safety and quality of dash in India. This is to enhance the safety and quality of electric vehicles in India. Next, which educational research institute has recently received a license from India affiliate of the Institute of Risk Management to set up India's first and East India's only global center? for enterprise risk management that is erm so which educational research institution has received this license it is shri shri university of odisha correct take a note of this 
This provides the students with the access to IRMs that is Institute of Risk Management's global resource and training that allow them to develop various skills in risk informed business such as leadership, entrepreneurship, corporate management and so on. Next, which Indian state is set to establish the Jatayu uh, Conservation and Breeding Centers that's the world's first conservation and breeding center for Asian king vultures that is Uttar Pradesh. Right. This is the Indian state that is set to establish Jatayu Conservation and Breeding Centers that is the world's first conservation and breeding center for Asian king vultures. Next, Dr. Jitendra Singh, our Union Minister of States, having the independent charge for science and technology, launched one week, one theme campaign under DASH to demonstrate the recent success stories of India in various streams of science and technology. So it is Council for Scientific and Industrial Research. That is, Dr. Jitendra Singh, they have launched this one week, one theme campaign under CSIR to demonstrate the recent success stories of India in the various streams of science and technology so that other people can also get encouraged through these stories. Next, in which state did the Ministry of Coal launch the India's first ever underground coal gasification pilot project at the Kasta Coil block? It is Jharkhand state. And the project here aims to revolutionize the coal sector by using the in situ gasification unit in order to convert them into valuable gas such as methane, hydrogen, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide. Next, which ministry has recently launched a 100 day special awareness campaign on women empowerment? It is Ministry of Women, Child and Development. Right? They have recently launched a 100 day special campaign on women empowerment. Next, in June, Union Health Minister Jagat Prakash Nadda, that is JP Nadda, launched the National Dash campaign. So, JP Nadda ji has launched the Stop Diarrhea campaign 2024. Also, remember, there was a slogan for this campaign that was launched. The slogan is Diarrhea ki Rokthaam Safai or ORSA Rakhe Apna Dhyan. And here, Union Health Minister Jagat Prakash Nadda, that is JP Nadda ji, launched this campaign. So, stop diarrhea. Next, name the Union Minister who recently launched the Fast Track Immigration Trusted Traveler Program to expedite the immigration process for pre verified Indian nationals and overseas citizens of India cardholders. So, who an individual who is a pre verified Indian national and having the or other is overseas citizens of India cardholders, they will be allowed to make entry into the uh, uh airports right basically we can say they, that will be a fast track immigration process that will reduce the time for the immigration process and it will be a much quicker way so that the all the process of immigration is taken in a quick manner that will reduce the time for the passengers to board on the flight so question asked is who is that union minister who launched this fast track immigration trusted traveler program it was launched by amit shah who is our union home minister Next, which central public sector undertaking has recently received the Navratana status from the Department of Public Enterprise under the Ministry of Finance? It is which Madagao Dock Shipbuilders Limited. Take a note of this. Moving on, name the central public sector undertaking that has recently received the Mini Ratana Category 1 status from the Department of Public Enterprise under the Ministry of Finance. It is Central Electronics Limited, CEL. Next, which ministry has recently launched a nationwide campaign on tobacco free educational institution? This will be our Ministry of Education, MOE. Next, in June, South India's first and largest leopard safari was launched at the Banner Ghatta Biological Park. Question asks is this where is this Banner Ghatta Biological Park located? It is located in the state of Karnataka. So, friends, these are your important current affairs. If you like the session, do hit the like button. Now let's move to some revision part that will be beneficial in your learning. Next, which ministry has recently launched a digital geospatial platform named Krishi Decision Support System. So this Krishi Decision Support System was launched by Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare. Correct. Apart from this, remember on 23rd of August, what do we observe? We observe national space day and this year in 2024 this is for the first time that it was declared that we will be observing on 
ट्वेंटी थर्ड ऑफ अगस्त एज द नेशनल स्पेस डे राइट नेक्स्ट इन ऑगस्ट द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड फार्मर्स वेलफेयर लॉन्च द डैश बेस्ड नेशनल पेस्ट सर्वेलेंस सिस्टम सो मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड फार्मर्स वेलफेयर दे हैव लॉन्च आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस बेस्ड दैट इज ए आई बेस्ड नेशनल पेस्ट सर्वेलेंस सिस्टम दिस एन पी एस एस नेशनल पेस्ट सर्वेलेंस सिस्टम एम्स टू रिड्यूस द फार्मर्स डिपेंडेंस ऑन द पेस्टिसाइड रिटेलर्स एंड प्रमोट अ साइंटिफिक अप्रोच टू द पेस्ट मैनेजमेंट This AI tool it will analyze the latest data on the pest and help the farmers and experts in the pest control and management. Next, which of the following points are correct with respect to the President Draupadi Murmu's visit to Fiji, New Zealand, and Timor Leste? If we look at the options, option A and option C are right. B is wrong. B is saying that India and Fiji signed a bilateral customs cooperation agreement to ease trade between the two countries. Is it correct? So no, it is India and. Which country that have signed this cooperation or bilateral custom cooperation arrangement to ease trade between these two countries? It is between India and New Zealand, not Fiji. New Zealand. Now option B is right. Next, which country recently signed an MOU with Indian government to introduce UPI? So India and Maldives. So we can say Maldives recently signed an MOU with our India in order to introduce UPI in their country. Next, next. Remember, Ivory Coast. It became the fifty-third party to join the United Nations Water Convention, also known as the Convention on the Protection and Use of Transboundary Watercourses and International Lakes. Next, which country's Chamber of Accounts has recently signed an MOU with India's Comptroller and Auditor General of India to exchange auditing expertise? It is Uzbekistan. Right. Then, apart from this, remember Saudi Arabia here. Saudi Arabia, or we can say United Nations Commission on the Status of Women, unanimously appointed Saudi Arabia to chair their 69th session that will be held in 2025. Next, who has been recently elected as the youngest Prime Minister of Thailand? That is, Pantogran Shinwata has been appointed as the youngest ever Prime Minister of Thailand. Right, and she also became the Thailand that is the. second ever female thailand prime minister apart from this if we talk about claudia shenbaum right she became the first female president of mexico i repeat she became the first female president of mexico next which jersey number of india hockey team has officially retired from the national senior men's team in honor of the former indian goalkeeper pr srijesh so pr srijesh had jersey number 16 which has been officially retired by the hockey india he is also known as by the name god of indian modern history also known as the wall of indian hockey and he is a goalkeeper correct and he has recently retired he was honored with padma shri that is the fourth highest civilian award in 2017 and major dhyan chand khel ratan award in 2021 Next, which state has recently declared petroglyphs and geoglyphs in Ratnagiri as protected monuments? This is Maharashtra state. Take a note. This is important. Next, which bank has recently launched India Singapore Connect in collaboration with CNBC TV18 initiative to strengthen the relationship between India and Singapore? That is DBS Bank. Right, so DBS Bank India recently launched India Singapore Connect in collaboration with CNBC TV18 initiative to strengthen the relationship between India and Singapore, and it marks DBS Bank's 30th anniversary in India since their operation in 1994. Next, which institute has recently set up a center for Narmada River Basin Management to conduct the condition assessment and management plan of Narmada River Basin? That is IIT Gandhinagar. Next, which of the following points are correct with respect to the proposals approved by Union Cabinet on 16th of August? If we look at the options A, B, C here, option A and B are right. C is wrong. C is saying that it also approved the development of two new civil enclaves at Bagdogra Airport in Bihar and Bita Airport in West Bengal. Right, but no, remember, it also approved of the development of the two new civil enclaves. Right, but remember, they will be two new. metro faces two corridors of the metro faces and these two corridors are for the metro 
बेंगलुरु मेट्रो फेज थ्री राइट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दिस रिमेंबर एज वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट हेयर बागडोगरा एयरपोर्ट इन बिहार एंड भीटा एयरपोर्ट इन वेस्ट बेंगाल रिमेंबर इट इज सी सी ई ए दैट इज कैबिनेट कमेटी ऑन इकोनॉमिक अफेयर्स चेयर बाय प्राइम मिनिस्टर नरेंद्र मोदी हैज ऑल्सो अप्रूव द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द टू न्यू सिविल एनक्लेव दैट इज एट बागडोगरा एयरपोर्ट दैट इज इन बिहार इज इट करेक्ट नो दिस इज नॉट इन बिहार बागडोरा एयरपोर्ट इज इन वेस्ट बंगाल एंड भीटा एयरपोर्ट इट इज इन बिहार सो वाइस वर्सा दे आर गिवन राइट नाउ इट इज राइट नेक्स्ट विच ऑर्गेनाइजेशन रिसेंट स्टेट रिपोर्ट स्टेटेड दैट इंडिया लॉस थर्टी थ्री पॉइंट नाइन मिलियन हेक्टेयर्स ऑफ कॉपस क्रॉप्स ड्यू टू एक्सेस रेन एंड एडिशनल थर्टी फाइव मिलियन हेक्टेयर ड्यू टू ड्रॉट ड्यूरिंग टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन टू ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन सो इट इज वर्ल्ड इकोनॉमिक फॉरम दिस स्टेटेड दैट बिकॉज ऑफ द rainfall excessive rainfall india lost 33.9 million hectares of crops due to excessive rainfall and 35 million hectares of crops because of drought and this data is between 2015 to 2021 next according to periodic labor force survey quarterly bulletin released by national statistical office the unemployment rate in urban areas among person aged 15 years and above was how much in april to june quarter of fy25 it was 6.6% in april to june quarter of fy25 here the unemployment rate among males aged 15 years and above decreased to 5.8% whereas in females the increase uh, the unemployment rate increased to 9% next what was the denomination of the coin that was recently released to mark the birth anniversary of former tamil nadu chief minister that is former chief minister of tamil nadu kalaigar m karunanidhi and it is worth 100 rupees right this is the coin this is the denomination of this coin then apart from this remember pm narendra modi also unveiled a commemorative stamp and a special 75 rupees coin during the inauguration of the new parliament building right apart from this rupees 19 rupees coin was also launched by prime minister narendra modi to commemorate 90 years of rbi next Which bank? Uh, which bank has recently launched Antadrishti Braille debit card for visually impaired customers? It is PNB, Punjab National Bank. Next, which airport has recently became the first Indian airport to achieve the status of net zero carbon emissions level five certification of the Airport Council International? It is Indira Gandhi International Airport. This is in New Delhi, and it became the first airport in India to achieve the status of net zero carbon emission level. five certification next who has been recently appointed as the managing director and chief executive officer of tamil nadu mercantile bank limited so who he will be sali sukumaran nair has been appointed as the new md and ceo of tamil nadu mercantile bank he will be succeeding whom he will be succeeding krishna venkata subramanya next which of the following points are correct with respect to the 2024 summer olympic games held in france from 26th of july to 11th of august if we look at the options here uh option a uh in this option b and c are right a is wrong right so option a is saying that india was ranked 71st in the medal tally with five medals that is one silver four bronze and was ranked 71st is it correct so absolutely right it's just india secured or india got six medal not five medals and this one was silver and five were bronze right which is the country that secured the top position in medal tally it is usa that secured the first position in medal tally next name the indian coast guard director general who recently passed away in august so rakesh pal is that director general of indian coast guard who recently passed away he was awarded with ati vashish seva medal tatkraksh medal and president's tatkraksh medal also next which indian armed force has recently partnered with indian air force to carry out first of its kind precise para drop operation of arogya maitri health cubes so it is indian army so forces being asked it is indian army and this remember indian air force it was along with indian air force and indian army they both carried out the first of its kind precision para drop operation of this arogya math maitri health cubes at an high altitude area close to 15000 and these critical trauma cubes have been indigenously developed under project bhishma and if you remember recently prime minister narendra modi was on a visit to ukraine and during which he also gifted these bhishma maitri cubes or these health cubes to those 
people there so that they can be used in the treatment and basically these under this project bhishma what are these cubes they can be set up very easily and can be used as a makeshift hospitals